now our thanks to 18-year-old Hannah Ye giving us a little feel of the Chinese New Year. She's playing the Harhu instrument. Never saw one before, but asked her about it. Thanks so much. That was truly beautiful. Well, we are celebrating the Chinese New Year today. It is the year of the snake, and here to describe what this all means is board president of the Chinese Fine Arts Society, Julie Chao Ma. And welcome back, and thanks for being with us. And I know you have an assistant with you that's going to help us make some lanterns. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, so Chinese New Year, not like, you know, our New Year. is not just one night. It's, right. a, it's a whole series of events and days. Tell us about this. So it's a two-week celebration, and it starts actually today. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's a time of year that it's very similar to Christmas or, or um, Hanukkah in the, in the Western world. It's a time where families get together. It's a time of renewal. For Chinese people who are very suspicious, we do a lot of things to try and make sure that we mm -hmm. start the year well and we have good luck throughout the year. So right before Chinese New Year, everybody is cutting their hair, buying new clothes, cleaning their house, paying their bills, so collecting debts. These superstitions it's are like, really yeah, serious. You want to do everything you can to mm -hmm. get rid of bad luck that might be lurking around. And so on the first day of Chinese New Year, we usually make a loud noise. So mm -hmm. oftentimes people will engage a, a lion dancer or make some okay. noise with symbols and just try and scare away bad luck. And then uh, pretty much for 15 days, there's something you're supposed to do every day. So one day you're supposed to go visit your ancestral graves. One day you're supposed to stay home and be very quiet with your, just your family. And every day there's something you're supposed to do. And then on the 15th day, it's called the Lantern Festival or the Lantern Ceremony. And we're going to make some here And we're going to make some lanterns this morning. Okay, so, so show us the easy way to do that. And I want to get to the snake too, but okay. you can make these at home. Right, so there's a, we have a little template. It'll be available on our website later. And you just cut a window into the template. Um, you just cut out the center part. Then you just take a piece of translucent paste paper and you um, paste it or tape it around to the back. So mm -hmm. as you can see, Tina's done that very nicely. Oh, right. Then That's easy you, for us. Yeah, exactly. Then okay. you tape the two sections together to make a square. And... Um, Voila. Close it up, and voila, you have a lantern. Then you can take all the sides, and you can start decorating them. You can see on some of them, we've decorated the, the uh, translucent paper part, mm -hmm. and on others that we've decorated the frames uh, uh, with uh, glitter, glitter glue. You can just have your kids draw markers. And then so the nice great thing, family activity. it's a really great family mm -hmm. activity. And then at the end, you can have just, you know, you can put a little tea light in the middle, and you can light it up. And it's very, it's just a very cute way to create your own lantern. Mm -hmm. So the, as the legend goes, there was a, a time when the heavenly uh, emperor was not very happy with the people on Earth because this villager had accidentally sh um, shot down one of the immortal phoenixes that had made its way into the mortal world and was no longer immortal. So the heavenly emperor was very, very unhappy. And so he decided he was going to burn that village down. But fortunately, the people in the village found out about it first. And they decided, and, and a wise elder in the village mm -hmm. said, well, why don't we put lanterns in all the windows? And ah, we're going to make boring. it look like the, the, um, the, win the, uh, uh, the village is already on fire, and that will fool the emperor into going somewhere else. And that's I love why people sharing hang sharing the history with us. Thanks right. so much. Now, so, very quickly, the year of the snake is this year. It's right. uh, interesting, and there's a lot of different activities, I guess, where people right. can celebrate at the Daily Center, under the Picasso, at the Adler After Dark series, right. um, and, at and as well Pier. at Navy Pier. Right, so. and on Navy P at Navy Pier, we're doing a lantern festival because it's on the last day of Chinese New Year. And Daily Center is tomorrow, and we're doing Lion Dance there because it's the beginning of Chinese New Year. Okay. So we hope to see you, you there and uh, all of our listeners as well. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And Happy New Year. Happy New Year. All right, Anthony. All right, Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you so much. Kim